Hi everybody, my name is Timothy Trespass and I am a targeted individual. Uh, for those of you who are targeted, needs no explanation, but for the rest of the world who may not yet know what this diabolical thing is, uh, I have been chosen through whatever secret means to be a victim, test experimental, human experimentation subject into MK Ultra mind control, Morgellons disease, uh, electromagnetic coercive technology, <sighs> hypnotic suggestions, subliminal programming, uh, gang stalking, psychic warfare, toxins, Morgellons, mind control, mind control, New World Order, mind control. Um, the reason I'm making this video is because I've just been, uh, Petra, my wife and I have just been hit yet again with uh, some fantastic news that we have to move again. Uh, what we do is we rent, um, we rent a room from whatever nice people in the neighborhood want to rent a room because they can't afford their rent and need the extra money. <sighs> We've been doing this now for about almost three years since we moved out of the hotel. Or I don't know. Yeah, and we've moved like uh, eight times in the first year. They made us move, you know, the first time. The second time we moved, they stole most of what we own, $20,000 worth of equipment and personal possessions and everything, and left us in this place where we lost even more of our stuff and had to move out in about 15 days and lost our security deposit and da, 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 da. we moved to another place where they we moved in and the next day they told us we had to move out and then we moved to another place and after two months they told us we had to move out and then we moved to another place and they threw us out after two months and we moved to another place and I mean this just goes on and on and on and on and on and what were the reasons they were going to put us out? Well, uh, either the daughter came home, the son came home, somebody was having a baby, uh, somebody told them that we were drug addicts or crazy or threatened the landlord, threatened the landlord, threatened the tenants, that if they didn't throw us out, they would throw them out, etc., etc., etc. So basically, it was force put on other people in order to put force on us. So, uh, these people, these nice people, were paying like 600 a month for a little tiny room that since we moved in we've been battling these insects, these nano whatevers. We haven't had a moment's peace since we've moved in here. Um, you know, paying the moving guy hundreds of dollars to move everything. We haven't even unpacked it all yet. And we, now we have to find a new place to go. So. It's uh, very disturbing, very, very upsetting, and, you know, I'm almost afraid to bare my soul here because, well, it doesn't matter because they're reading my thoughts anyway. They know what I think. Um, it's just that, that, you know, without stability, without stability, you, 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 you know, you can never have peace, you know, you can never be comfortable, you can never uh, never have peace and yeah oh yeah Stability. Stability. Yes. So he figured out what you were talking about? Yes, I think he did. But the, the brother kept saying, I said, you know, maybe we can give you more money. You know, we fix the things. I, I wouldn't, if that was me, I wouldn't give the, the lease because. 
and Yeah, they have. It's their life. They're gonna yeah, do what they're gonna do. Have Have they ever lived in a, in rented rooms before? They didn't, didn't tell you. That's the other thing because they speak Spanish and we yeah. speak English. Yeah. Direct. Yeah, they don't seem to understand you, do they? Yeah, <laughs> no, really. no, they don't. They always mis misjudge your your motives, baby. Oh, that's okay. It's a cultural thing. I know, honey. You know, that's why they're telling you. I don't know you have time to do Yeah, because if you didn't, we'd have to go to court. Oh, baby. Oh, Shutsy. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I was making a video actually. Oh, baby. I'm so sorry. I'm so okay, try not to. Try not to. Alright, you go through the initial shock, but don't pile it on to yourself. Don't, don't make it worse than it is, baby. We'll get through it. We'll get through it, honey. We'll get through it. We'll get through it, I promise. We'll get through it. Don't worry. We'll get through it. Oh, my good tears on me. Oh, my sweet darling. I hate to see you crying. I hate to see you crying, honey. <laughs> I know. I know. We'll get through it. I'll try to simplify things a little bit. We'll get through it. Maybe we'll find some more nice people like this. And Yeah, I know. I know. I don't know what we're going to do. Well, I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. Going to apply for disability, going to go get doctors, going to... Uh, maybe we should try to get on welfare, too. They'd probably give it to us without making us work. I don't fucking know. We'll find a place. We'll find a place. We'll find a place. He's gonna. Yeah. I know it's nothing we did. This is even has less to do with us. This is the him and the landlord, and, and they're. I don't know why they don't want to keep their apartment. It doesn't really make sense. If the landlord's willing to, to renew their lease for only a hundred dollars more, and we're willing to give them a little extra money, yeah, he said no. Then we'd be paying seven hundred dollars a month for a little room. It's still. It's nothing compared to, uh, well, alright, don't worry, honey, we'll, we'll, shh, it's gonna be okay, baby, it's gonna be okay, just have to do it, I'll pay
pare down as much stuff as I can get rid of. And, and we'll try to simplify our lives because we know we're moving all the time. Um, I know. We have to find some... Uh, maybe you want to think about trying to go home or something. Oh, baby. I know. You still have a bedroom there? No. No more. No. No, it wouldn't. To go home? It could be a wonderful opportunity to reconnect with your family, with your sister and your father. Uh, I'd have to be there with you. There's many, many issues. Political, economic, social, family, medical. I really don't know what the solution is. I, I wish... I wish we could do something to put stability in our lives. Who, him? Yeah. Are you talking so much? Who said, why are you talking so much? Segunda? Frustrated? Here's why. Yeah, he doesn't understand you, and he feels bad that he's had to make this decision in his life. He doesn't want to have to move out of here with his wife and his kid, but for some reason he doesn't think he can manage it anymore. And he's not willing to to be completely open and honest with us about it. Something about the money isn't enough, he doesn't make enough. I, I don't know what the deal is. No, I don't think so. I think he's just tired of the guy downstairs calling him and the super is probably a total asshole and the landlord is an asshole and and he's afraid he's afraid of something I don't know man no, he's got a wife and a kid to look out for that's why I wouldn't leave my place either especially for some somebody's gonna find me a room and I'm gonna pay 700 bucks a month for it. They, if they've never lived like that, they don't realize what they're getting into. Well, maybe. Maybe they think everybody will be like them. And maybe they'll get some nice people that'll be just like them because they're Spanish and they speak Spanish and they're... Well, maybe they're moving with their relatives in Queens or something. Maybe they have a plan. I don't know. I could see in his eyes he had almost tears in his eyes. He He looked... He was angry, he was hurt, he was sad, he was frustrated, he was he felt bad. He didn't they didn't want to, to tell us this. They didn't they didn't want to tell us this. And you know, I don't know. I, this it's his decision, yeah. I know, I know, I know. I know. I know. Especially when they don't understand what you're saying, the language barrier could be, uh... He doesn't try very hard, either. I, I really try to understand them. Oh, honey. Were you, were you crying when you were over there? Oh. Oh, Shotzi, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I, I don't know. I know. Well, we could actually if we found a place and we had the money. And we knew, uh, uh, uh. I know, honey. I know. Don't worry. It's gonna be. Okay. You're not gonna work as hard this time. You're not gonna work as hard. You can't do this. No, we can't. We can't. We can't. We have to somehow make sure that. I know, I know. When they did this, they dumped these frickin' things back in here again. 
How are we gonna fucking make sure they don't do that? There's nothing we can. Alright, well. We gotta. We gotta. We gotta come up with a long term plan somehow. St you know, we gotta. We gotta. If, if we're gonna stay in this country when it turns Nazi FEMA camp, whatever, we gotta have a plan. We gotta get disabilities. The only thing. I, I can't fucking work. You gotta get disability. I gotta get disability. You want some of this? It's, it's the only thing I can think of that's going to give any stability to our lives. If we had more money, we could actually get an apartment. You know? But we don't have enough, because I have no income. Jesus, don't worry, honey. It's, it's going to be... I keep saying it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay. I don't know if it's gonna be okay either, but we're gonna make it okay. We're gonna make it okay. We're gonna make it okay. They've been torturing us non stop now for years and there's nothing we can seem to do about it. And we have all these extra problems moving, finding a place to live, all our stuff. So you see, this is this is our, our problem. This is what we face on a regular basis. Where are we going to live? What are we going to do with our stuff? How sick are we? Can we, you know, we're too sick to keep doing this. And you have no choice. It just gets forced on you thing after thing after thing after thing. And I don't know how. I don't know how the hell people do it. I don't know how the hell they do it. I don't. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they have lives that aren't destroyed. I don't know how they deal with this. I don't know how they. I don't know how to do it. It's just too much. No, I don't think so. What could it be? They were threatened? No, I don't think so. I think, I think that this is the 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 whole reason they rented this out to us was because they needed the money. They weren't. They were trying to keep their place, and and it's gotten to be too much. You know, the power bill has gone up from sixty dollars. He said now it's like three hundred and fifty dollars every month. Years ago when he moved in, that's how much they've increased the cost of power. Um, you know, and over the years, over the years, you know, his he he doesn't. They don't have enough money. They don't. They don't have enough money. No, we don't either. And I think that's what his look was. That he's worried about his future too, just like we are. They have very little stuff, though. They, like we have more stuff than they do. Which is kind of weird, but they like they live like they're they're poor. They live like they're poor people, you know. Very simple. They don't have much stuff at all. They have a TV, a computer, two beds, a dresser, you know, like some clothes, a couple of tools, and kitchen supplies, and it's like it. Nothing. It's every fucking time we move into a place, and then 
It's like you just unpack and then they make you move again. It's fucking insane. Yeah. Well, how long were we here? Four months? February, March, April, five months. Fuck. We're not gonna get any extra money this time from generous people that are you know, getting the security deposit back or any of that other shit. Oh well. Fuck. Yeah, you were right. Maybe we should have held some money back in the rent. I don't know. Just well, we wouldn't have known. We didn't know. I was trying to make us stay here. I was trying to let us stay here. You know, I hope it's not the fucking. The washing and the other shit that's pushed this thing over the edge, the bleak and the sink and the. No, 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 no. Shh, it's not your fault. It's not your. Shatsy, it's not your fault. 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 It's the. It's this. He's afraid of. of I don't know what. He can't afford it. They don't have enough money in their lives. He's not earning enough, and the money we give him isn't enough, I guess. I guess, and maybe they're not entitled to any more benefits or anything. I have no idea. They had uh, somebody else living here. They told us it was a family member, but then that shit he said about the food stamps that would the guy moved out, that doesn't make any sense. They, they wouldn't do that. I don't know. Maybe. 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 But they're moving out. They're not just <coughs> telling us that. right now but yes you're gonna have to tell him soon I'm gonna have to tell my father thank god we have fathers <laughs> yeah they haven't given us that for how many months three months hello oh yeah